So today marks one year since the death of Western Hill student Gabriela Rodriguez. The 15 year old died after she was hit by a car while just walking to school. That driver has yet to be found. Not your science Jasmine Miner spoke to Gabby's mom about the answers her family so desperately wants. Well, today, as family and friends honor the short but very impactful life of 15 year old Gabriela Rodriguez with teddy bears, flowers, even a balloon launch. They're not just looking for justice, but for answers as to who killed their Gabby. One, two, three. We love you, Gabby. We love you, Gabby. You can go back and change a year ago and be here to to save her. She would. Shauna Rodriguez, the mother of 15 year old Gabriella, stands in the very spot she lost her daughter. They've had a whole year to to think about what they what they did. It's been one year since Gabby was hit and killed by a car while walking to school and still no one has been arrested. They chose to leave a 15 year old girl laying there in the street. The family says the driver might have left Gabby behind, but her spirit lives on from teddy bears and softball gloves. They even wrote personal letters on each of the balloons like this one. You'll see it says forever in our hearts. You'll stay. We will love you and remember you every single day. I told her I loved her and I missed her through the hugs and through the tears. They release balloons, but Shauna says they're never really letting go. She had the biggest heart in the world. If you were having a bad day, you looked for Gabby because she would make it better. Well, one of the ways they are honoring her life is by hosting the very first annual softball tournament in Gabby's name. That is going to be this Saturday at Western Hills High School starting at 10 in the morning. I'm in Western Hills, Jazz and Minor 9 on your side. So police continue to search for the vehicle involved in Gabby's death, and it's not too late to help if you know something. It's believed to be a newer model white Honda Civic. Police say the driver ran a red light, hit Gabby, and then drove off.